Okay, so we have seen downloading Cypress dependencies starting the Cypress runner and also we have seen project structure how it got created but exploring is not yet done. I did not explain you what all these um, folders are but hang on there. I will come back soon for that and in this lecture we will try to create one new test and understand the principles of building a basic Cypress test and then we will try to run it using different options we have okay so that's our goal so I will actually delete all these files maybe you can have in your machine but that will distract us and confuse what are the tests we have written and what Cypress gave us. Yeah, I don't think we need them, right? Let me delete it so that examples folder looks empty. Now I will create a new file and I will test one dot JS. So JavaScript should be extension obviously because Cypress is built on JavaScript framework. Okay again I will now take you to the official documentation and see what are they are suggesting to write a first test. So writing your first test. Okay and here don't worry about so much of information here. I will I already read every word of this complete documentation and I filtered out what is required and what not required so just follow my lectures and it will take care of everything okay so describe it what are these and if you want to build a basic test Cypress is suggesting us to wrap like this one thing you need to understand here as we are writing on JavaScript you need to follow the standards of at least one JavaScript test framework. There are different test frameworks like Jasmine, Mocha. These are famous testing frameworks available for JavaScript. So you have to follow one of the testing framework standard to write your Cypress test. Okay, Cypress have a knowledge of automating your browser but to make it as one test and to make it as runnable you have to inject your Cypress test into one of the testing framework. If you already know about Selenium it's like testng or JUnit. So Selenium automates but you need to have one testing framework like testng or JUnit to write a test in testing framework standards. Similarly, for JavaScript, like TestNG, you have Jasmine and Mocha. These are two different testing frameworks available. And you need to choose one to write your test. But Cypress is recommending us to use Mocha for a testing framework. And that comes as packed with Cypress library only. You need not account, again download Mocha into your machine. When you download Cypress, it automatically bundles Mocha. So let's. Okay, you see it here. All of these functions come from bundle tools that Cypress bakes in. Describe and it come from Mocha. So what does this mean? So when I say describe, it's nothing but test suite. So for it treated as test suite, and there are multiple test cases can be there in test suite right so it block is treated as test case so basically there is a test suite called my first test in that there are different test cases like one is does not do much and you can have one more test case by writing one more it block so whatever you write inside this it block will be treated as a test that means whatever automation test okay so all your automation code which you feel belongs to one test should be wrapped inside this it block okay and all it blocks 
should be wrapped under describe block okay describe is block test suite level that's it these are the standards we generally follow uh, when you work with either jasmine or mocha jasmine also have same syntax describe and it so first of all let me copy this syntax and paste it here so it's clear right or i can write it for you from scratch so that if you think that you can remember if i write once for you then i will quickly do that and explain you what all this does so describe will actually take two arguments first argument is about description or whatever you want to tell i can tell my first test suite this is the description and second argument of this describe is nothing but a function that wraps all it blocks okay so function of a function without any arguments so this is the closing one right it started here so for this function you you will open parenthesis and you close parenthesis and this block have opened here so you are closing it here that's it now this is a test suite now all it test cases should go inside this function okay it is our test sorry i don't know why it's actually giving me my first test case similarly same style of writing first argument will be description and second argument now you want to write a code inside this test case right that also should be wrapped in function again just like how you wrapped a describe and this is this started here and it will close here function and then parenthesis you open it and you closed it and this is something which started here and closed and now all your test cases i mean test steps for that particular test case should go inside it similarly you can have one more test case in the same test suite and you can say it as my second test case something like this okay so this is how you need to build a structure based upon mocha's testing framework standards and then you can write test cases the steps inside it okay so let me delete this for now okay let me write the first test what would be our ideal first test just to open the url in the browser isn't it okay i will go back to my browser and i have specially developed some projects in my rahul shetty academy.com so for selenium practice cypress practice so you can use this web application for any of your automation tools okay so this is an application let's try to actually get into this application with cypress by simply hitting the url in the browser nothing else for our first test copy this path so what is the method which will help you to navigate to the browser so you need to understand that cy is a global command which will help you to uh, invoke any cypress commands okay so it's like a driver in selenium in selenium we say driver dot get driver dot find element right so in cypress it's cy and you need not create object for cy cy comes by default when you download node modules so you can simply start directly using cy object without any declaration for that okay cy dot right now it's it will not give you any auto suggestions because we don't have uh, anything installed for cypress to have an intelligence here don't worry in my next lecture i will tell you how to auto intelligence here by just if you just hit dot 
you should get all the methods present in that Cypress, right? I will show how to do that. But first step is a visit. Visit is a method which will help us to visit any website. It's simple, right? You can remember it. So this will help you to hit URL in the browser. So the URL what we interested here is rahulshettyacademy.com. Okay. Save this project. Perfect. You saved it and as a test one dot JS. Nice. Now let's go to Cypress test runner. So in this lecture, I will show how to run this using Cypress test runner. So once you saved it, you will see the test displaying here. If you don't see this, try to refresh or um, close your test runner and open again. Okay, then it will prompt here. So just select this test. That's it. Automatically, it will try to run your test. You see that it's trying to hit rahulshettyacademy.com selenium practice and that's it. You are on the page and test case execution is done. Congratulations. You have done and you have made your first step towards Cypress. You are able to run a basic test with a method called visit to visit any URL. So I will maintain one um, Excel sheet just to see what all we are doing so that you can have a checklist like what all you learnt and how to memory, memorize again when you forgot about it. Visiting, navigating to URL, visit method. You learnt this, right? Whatever you learnt, let's make a checklist so that you are aware and you can come back later to revise the concept. Okay. So in the next lecture, I will show how to run this simple test from your command line arguments as well. Okay. Thank you.